And just weeks ago, for the first time since President Truman established the Air Force, more than 70 years earlier, we created a brand new branch of the United States Armed Forces. It's called the Space Force. Very important. In the gallery tonight, we have a young gentleman and what he wants so badly, 13 years old, Ian Lonfay. He's an eighth grader from Arizona. Ian, please stand up. Ian has always dreamed of going to space. He was the first in his class and among the youngest at an aviation academy. He aspires to go to the Air Force Academy, and then he has his eye on the Space Force. As Ian says, most people look up at space. I want to look down on the world. <laughs> but sitting behind Ian tonight, is his greatest hero of them all. Charles McGee was born in Cleveland, Ohio, one century ago. Charles is one of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen, the first black fighter pilots, and he also happens to be Ian's great-grandfather. <laughs> Incredible story. After more than 130 combat missions in World War II, he came back home to a country still struggling for civil rights and went on to serve America in Korea and Vietnam. On December 7th, Charles celebrated his 100th birthday. A few weeks ago, I signed a bill promoting Charles McGee to Brigadier General. And earlier today, I pinned the stars on his shoulders in the Oval Office. General McGee, our nation salutes you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. 